Hey folks, this is Vint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play Roll for the Galaxy. This is a game I like to boot up from time to time. For those of you that don't know anything about it, well, it's an engine builder with dice. Uh, like in Race for the Galaxy, players in Roll for the Galaxy are tasked with building worlds and technologies and putting them into their tableau, and getting 12 will signal the end of the game. And like in Race for the Galaxy, as you put stuff down, you gain abilities on these cards that help you do various actions better. Uh, with this being a dice game, though, you also get the opportunity to gain more dice to add to your dice pool. But f with every die that you roll that turn, you have to pay one extra money to use them. So you have to manage money in addition to your dice pool. Uh, and again, in addition to other abilities that you might have. So let's just dive into it. Um, I, I just, just truth be told, though, um, I either have really, really good games or really, really awful games. I have yet to play a game where it's a happy medium. So this could either go really, really well or really, really badly. All right, so we'll just play against one easy AI opponent. And it looks like my current setup. I've got the genetics lab paired with the last of the Narsh, whatever that is. So it says here, produce, every time there's a produce action that's that I do, uh, plus $2 for each good represented by genes, which is a green die. So ideally, I want to try and create worlds that are green. Uh, I already start off with one here. Uh, this last of the Narsh, gain a genes die into your citizenry at the start of the game. Um, there's also New Sparta here. Gain two military red dice into your citizenry at the start of the game. I don't know how that's going to work, to be honest with you. Um, so now I have the choice between... I, get to, I have two cards that I am dealt at the beginning of the game. However, I can flip them. I can choose to use this side if I want. Gain a rare elements brown die into your cup when you place this world. Uh, this one is only two resources to build, hence the two in the upper left-hand corner. Whereas this one is five. Uh, but if I settle a world with this technology out, the diamond is a technology and the world, that circle there is, is a world. So um, I have to sort of pick and choose what I like. And every time I settle with this out. I get plus two dollars at the end of the phase, which is kind of awesome. Um, let me see what this other one is. The Galactic Salon. Every time I ship something, I gain an extra VP chip. That's good. Uh, if I flip to the other side, Runaway Robots gain a military die. I already have two of them, so I might keep the Galactic Salon and... The asteroid belt is kind of cool. I, I like to have one of each, to, to be honest with you, because I never know if the computer is going to choose to settle something. Um, I, I think we'll do this, uh, the asteroid belt. So I've got one world and one technology that I'm choosing at the beginning of the game. And he's got his own tableau. I could click on his to see what he's got. I have enough trouble as an old person keeping track of what I have, so I never am able to do that. Now, I've got uh, three dice here, so we'll roll those. I've got more in my pool, but uh, let's see. Um, so now I'm going to lock dice in. Um, I can only choose one of these five. The very first one here is the explorer action, and if I put a die in the lock, that means I'm activating that action. I can put dice everywhere else if I want to, but they only activate if the computer chooses that particular action or if the random die in a two-player game rolls to that as well. So not all phases will be observed from round to round, which is interesting. Um, I may want to try and get some of these out quickly. Um, so maybe I'll lock that in like that. And I will... Now, this symbol... Uh, I could do this, right? Yeah. So, you can assign any die that you want to the lock, and that will act as that particular... Like, that's your free wild, so to speak. But anything that's not in a lock, you have to match it. If you don't, then you have to uh, put a die up here, which allows then another die to be placed. So, if I wanted this to go over to this ship, for example. It doesn't match, but it, it lets me do it because I, this die is being 
used to divert this thigh to a, the, the non-matching space. It's Again, it's confusing, but I'll go ahead and just put these back. So I am for sure activating this here. This will give me two resources for this action, and that is enough to build my asteroid belt. So I'm going to go and hit done. The only downside is I'm not gaining any money, so you know, there's that. So we'll auto that, and we'll place... So there we go. I've got a new world, and I've got one money, so I really can't. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have any money, unfortunately. So I think what I need to do is get more money so I can roll more dice. Um, this is a wild, which is great. Um, I'm just gonna auto real quick, and I think I want to lock that in and put that here. This will give me some extra money and some also some. Uh, I'll have the ability to, not only with this action, to get money, but I, I could also draw more cards and possibly get, like, another planet to, with the possibility of building it later. Um, so let's just hit done there. And it looks like the, again, in a two-player game, the AI, the third AI, will roll a die, and that's the third round that'll activate. Um, so it looks like the computer and I both picked the same thing, so only... Only this round will activate. I picked the eye. My computer picked the eye. The computer opponent picked the eye. The uh, the eye, and then just the random third party rolled the eye. So only this round, only this phase is happening. This round, I do need money, so I'm just going to throw some into stock, and that gives me five. I think you know all money. I want to develop that technology. So I've got seven money now. And this will let me roll more dice later. So now, yeah, I've got I've got nine dice and and only seven money. So, do I really want to roll this military die? You know what? Um, so on this face, there's no shipping of goods. Do I intend to do that? There's two technology, two pl the dice distribution. If you right click, you can actually see what's on them. Uh, you know what? I, I, it's fine. I'll do that. Let's go ahead and roll these and see what we get. Um, a lot of technology, which is great. We're going to lock that sucker in. That is all we need to get this done. And every time I ship goods, which I'll talk about later, I'll get an extra victory point. Um, if by some chance the computer picks this action, we'll be able to do it. And we've got three eyeballs here to, to take three of those actions. So... No one activated the eyeball, so those dice just come back to me and I can use them later. Um, but I will auto-build that. Awesome. Also worth mentioning, the number is not only the cost, but the amount of victory points you get for placing it in the first place. Um, and we will just, I guess, new round. Uh, I'll just auto... I only have four dice, unfortunately. Uh, money is just really awful for me right now. Um... I need to start m developing goods and then shipping them off. But I also, again, I think I need more money. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to lock that in there. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice one die to make it work in the eyeball space. So we'll just do that. And we'll just throw everything I have into this. And I want to focus on shipping goods for more money at this point. Okay. Um, let's see. We got seven dice. There we go. Perfect. Now, yeah. All right. So we'll roll these dice and hope. I, I don't know. Actually, can I go back? I want. I want the non-red one, because I, I the red one does not have a good icon on it. So we'll roll. All right, lots of ships. Nothing to ship though. That's that's what sucks. Sometimes you get great rolls, other times not so much. Um, no technologies, unfortunately. I let's see how many I, how much I can divert over here. I just need two, right? Uh, this this can produce one good, and this can produce one good. So I just need to lock in something like that, maybe. All right. And this is kind of wasteful right there, but I can't move it anywhere else right now. Okay, um, so the way this is going to work, if the eyeball is picked by someone else, I'll be able to get some free money or to draw new cards. 
Um, this technology is just wasted on me. I can't do anything there. I can't reassign it. Um, if I activated the producer, which I'll be able to produce these here, which is great. Um, I may want to use... Uh, I can't do that. Well, I guess I'm stuck with that good there. That's fine. Well, maybe if I... No. No. Okay, fine. If you match the goods to their colored worlds, I think you get more money or victory points, something like that. Don't quote me on it. And then if someone picks ship, then that's good for me because I produce first, then I'll just ship them immediately. So um, let's go ahead and hit done. And it looks like this was picked by the uh, third party at random. Um, the eyeball was chosen by my computer pal there, so I'll just get some more money. Although... Okay, I can produce but not ship, so I should bank some money. Okay, hit done. This is an awful game for me. I, I, I feel like I'm not doing anything. I will auto-place these goods, and this genetic lab says, uh, plus two dollars for each good represented by a jeans green die at the end of this phase. So that means I'm going to get an extra two bucks because I put a uh, green good there. Let me hit done. There's my two bucks. I've got seven again. We'll just auto... Roll that. See what we get. Now we want to ship these goods, if it lets me. I've got some wilds there. Um, uh, let's do... I want to ship them for, for sure, I think. I also need to draw new tiles. Um, I have no planets right now, so I'm going to reassign that one over here. And that is all I can do, unfortunately. Like th th This is an awful... Some some of these cards let you reassign more dice for free. I love those cards, but none of them are coming up. I'm I'm just not drawing a whole lot. Uh, let's go ahead and ship what we've got. I'll try and focus on victory points via shipping. Uh, the computer is quickly gaining ground. <laughs> All right, so uh, now we're going to trade. So two vict oh four money. What's the other one going to get me? That's five dollars. Okay, so let's do this one for five. And then we'll do this one for two. Two victory points. Now, there's a difference in the white points and the blue points. The blue is limited. So when the blue pile of victory points runs out, then game over. Um, the, thir the big 13 there is based on the sum of my cards that I have down. Uh, four plus two is six plus two. Uh, there must be something else going on then. Empire tiles and then chips. Oh, it's a grand total. Okay, that 13 must be the grand total. Okay, uh, we're done with that. Okay, um, we will hit auto and roll. We've got more dice, so let's hope we get something good. Um, let's auto and see what we've got. Okay, I definitely want to produce, I think. Um, I, I feel like I need to draw more, though. Like, this is... Eh. All right, let's, you know, if, if, if we produce great, I, I'm not going to cry over it if we don't. I feel like I need more eyeballs. Uh, I need more cards. So I'm going to reassign that there, and that's good. Okay, so we'll hit done. Okay, the shipping action is happening for sure. The computer picked develop world or settle. Um, let's go ahead and draw some cards now that we've got some money. So I'm going to scout, and now I can either take the Mining League, which is plus two victory points per rare element brown in your tableau. Um, so it's six points plus, and so that would be eight points for me if I got it down. And during the produce phase, plus one dollar for each good on a rare. So I've got that as well. That's a great one if I can pull it off. The other side of it is just new survivalists. Gain a novelty die into your citizenry when you place this world. I'm digging the... I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of digging that. As expensive as that is, that's, that's going to be huge for me. Um, that's fine. I'll hit done. I'm going to draw another card, I think. And, yeah, draw one. New Vinland. Gain a novelty cyan die into your cup when you place this world. Um, I do have two red military die. I could keep that and then settle immediately. Uh, what's the other side of this? 
Galactic investors develop plus two, every time you develop plus two dollars at the end of this phase. Okay, I, I, you know what? I I need more more worlds out there, uh, so I can produce more goods. I think I'm gonna keep that, and then done. And then lastly, I'm going to just throw that into money. And now that we're on the develop phase, because the computer picked it, I can now just automatically assign these two dice here to New Vinland, and place it. That's two points for me. Computer is just killing it over here. I'm not liking this at all. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll just auto. Lots of dice. We're down to two bucks, though. Oh, man. Okay, auto. Um, okay, I need... I need more diamonds. I, I Unfortunately, I can't really reassign a whole lot right now. What I'm going to do... I have no worlds, so I'm going to reassign this here. Actually, I don't need to do that. I could do that. And then I have development. There's eyeballs there for money. Um, part of me wants to move... Um, I guess this is, this is going to waste here. I mean, no, regardless. Oh, I still have the wild up there. Uh, well, I only have three rolls that can produce, so an extra one here is kind of silly. Um, I'll take the chance that development happens so that I can assign these three to this six here, and then all I need is three more to complete it on a future turn. So we'll hit done. We'll lock in the whole produce thing. Looks like develop worlds came up randomly again. The computer picked produce. Same as me. So um, we'll just auto produce there. Computer's doing the same thing. And that's it. None of us developed a world. All right, we will auto those. Okay, so again, we should probably ship these and just focus on victory points. Um, let's m move this over like that. Again, this can be anything, but I, in order for me to get this circle over here, I need to give up a die to do it. Um, I'll keep everything else as is, and we'll hit done. That'll ship three times. Looks like the random die was a ship as well. The computer also picked that. So we all have the same thing in mind. Um, so this is going to get me... Five money or two victory points. This is going to get me four money or two victory points. And this is going to get me three money. Or, this is clearly the victory point one. Um, I have four already. So if I get five from this, the maximum is ten. So I might as well just use these for victory points. Okay, and then we'll hit done. Not too bad. We'll hit auto there. Roll. Roll. And, yeah, every time I ship, I gain a victory point thing. So I'm trying to focus my efforts on that. We'll auto that. That's three development diamonds for this. I really want that out there to really boost my victory points. Um, all of these are going to waste because I have no planets to develop. So maybe we'll lock that in like that. Um, let's move this one... Here, in case the produce phase happens, I'll have two goods ready. I'll put them on this one, uh, the the last of Narsh, and this one here, uh, if it happens. And I think that's all I can do. Oh, I have a wild. Maybe I'll put that... Actually, I could put that here. That way, if produce does happen, I can produce on all three worlds again. Uh, so we'll hit done. And the shipping phase happened. Um, it looks like the computer picked the eyeball. He's going to be getting either a lot of money or a lot of cards. So I guess I'll take... Uh, if I'm... Mm, I have three bucks to my name. Uh, I should probably get some more money. Yeah, let's do that. I want to make sure I have enough money to roll dice. It's one buck per die. All right, so we're going to sign all of those diamonds to that. It's not done yet, however. We still need two more. So we're just sort of banking them on that card for the time being. Note the, the symbols here. There's, yeah. So let's go ahead and roll what we've got. Uh, roll. 
And then auto. <laughs> no diamonds. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, what we could do to finish this card off, um, we can um, put that... Actually, we'll put that there and do something like that. Okay. That should be good. In case produce happens, I'll have these two here to put on these cards up here. Although, I want a green good. I would love for this to be over there. And, but, I would have to put something back, I think. Like, yeah, this is not, alright, fine. Fine. The good news is, we have enough of these now to finish this. There we go. And that's, what, eight points for us? Six plus two, because we have a brown world out there. And now, every time we produce, we're going to get um, an extra buck, if it's a brown world. All right, we've got four bucks to our name and six dice, so we'll just roll what we can. And I, now we need to produce. I think that's where that's where it's going to be. I want to get this one over there. I want to get as many of these colored goods over here as possible. Um, I, it's just, yeah, oh, a wild red that does not work there. I'm going to put this on shipping just in case. Um, just in case shipping is picked this round, I want to be able to ship all of my goods. So maybe we'll do something like this, right? Yeah, so if shipping is picked, the three goods I produce will immediately be shipped. Fine. Lucky for me, it was picked. So I will first auto everything there. And this mining league is going to kick in. I'll get uh, $1 for each good on a rare brown world at the end of this phase. Same thing with this genetics lab here. I'll get $2 for each good on... Yeah, so I'm going to get $3 just for that combination. There it is. And I will just auto-ship these. Uh, what am I going to get for this? That's 5 bucks. Uh, I think we want to start from this side. It's Yep, two two victory points. That's two victory points, and this is five bucks. More dice. All right, done. I think we're doing pretty well. Roll everything. All right, we just want to continue that trend, unfortunately. <laughs> Man, uh, no goods. No goods were rolled, and I can't reassign that many. Um, maybe I will focus on, uh, maybe I'll focus on drawing this, just cards, and then I have enough here to settle if it comes down to it. So maybe I, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave everything as is. Um, we'll hit done. All right. So this development world was rolled by the third party. I could, in theory, pick a world, and I've, if I pick a world that has four or less, I can develop it immediately this turn. So, first I'm going to just scout, and look for a good world that is four or less. This is two. Gain a novelty cyan die into your cup when you place this world. Eh, not really interested in that one. Uh, every time I settle, all worlds require one fewer settler to complete, but not fewer than one. Fine. It's four points. Um, I'll keep that. I'll just keep that. Fine. Done. I still have some more scouting to do. Draw a new card. Uh, this is a former penal colony. Remove any one of your dice and gain a military red die into your cup when you place this world. Also less than four, but not great. Wow. Galactic bankers. Uh, one VP per development in your tableau. W wow. That's... Really good, actually. Um, each time you tr trade a good this phase, you may spend one dollar to gain. Okay, I think we're gonna shoot for that. Uh, that's amazing. Although I think that needs to be put on. I can't put it on top. I think I can only do it when I'm scouting again. Uh, can I put? Um, oh, I can flip this existing one. I guess move it. Uh, is it gonna let me? I just want to delete it. I, I know in the in the board game you could totally do that. 
There's got to be a way to, like, flip it and... Huh. Oh, maybe I can just remove it. Y yeah, let's get rid of that. Now I can draw two. Okay, let's do that. Um, deserted alien outpost. That's a four. Gain an alien technology. Okay, I think we're going to keep that. The other side is just galactic demand. Every time I ship, plus two dollars for each good you trade this turn from a cyan novelty. That was nice too, but four points is four points, and it matches perfectly. This one is, uh, every time I settle, gene and alien technology yellow worlds require one fewer. This is an information hub. Gain a novelty good on this roll when you place it. Nah, we'll just keep that, I think. We'll hit done. And lastly, um, I, you know what, I'll take some money. We'll stock. And then we'll hit done. Uh, so we've got some more cards to shoot for. And again, the game ending condition is when we have enough of these blue victory points, when the pool runs out, and I think that's up here. Yeah, there are seven points left in the pool. Uh, so when that runs out, then game over. Uh, the other way is when there's 12 uh, tiles in the tableau for one person. Uh, so we're going to auto-build this because we've got four there. Perfect. That's four extra points. And we have one ship action, which that's perfect for us because we only have the one good. Two victory points or six bucks. You know what? I'm going to take the six bucks um, because uh, I like to roll dice. Yeah, look at that. We needed, we needed the money for sure. All right, give me some diamonds. Give me some diamonds. Uh, that was awful. <laughs> awful, awful, awful. Uh, you can stick to producing, I think, then. Uh, we've got uh, one, two, no, one, two, three, four worlds that will produce. So this is perfect for us. And now I may want to actually reassign goods for shipping. So uh, I need to do something like that. Okay. So... If I, I will produce for sure, and if I produce, if shipping is rolled or picked by my opponent, I can ship three of those four goods, which is still pretty good. Uh, we'll hit done. Shipping was picked by my opponent. You can tell on the very top there. Uh, also, just above here. I only have, I'm just hit stock. That's fine. And then moving on to produce, we'll just auto place everything. Now on to uh, shipping. Uh, we want victory points, so uh, that's six, that's five, and that's... Okay, we'll do that. I could end the game right now, actually. That might be for the best. Let's just consume everything. Um, oh, it's down to one. Oh, yeah, we'll do five bucks then. That's fine. And then hit done. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got nine bucks, eight dice there to roll. Perfect. I really want to build that diamond one, but it's going to take a while. <laughs> it's it's going to take a while for sure. Um, okay. Oh, I've got some wild die. I could, all right, fine. Let's just build it. I could actually just do this with it. Yeah. Six, done. Um, that, that's great. And do I, you know what, let's just, is it going to let me do this? I can, pr if, if, if somehow by some miracle, my opponent picks produce and the third party rules a ship, I'll, I'll be able to sell a good, I mean, it, it's kind of a long shot, but. All right, we will auto build this galactic bankers. That's great. That's a lot of victory points there. Nothing else happened, so we'll just auto everything. Uh, roll. All right. Let's produce and ship and end this. So, um, just auto everything. I could place that here, or I've got this here for three more points. Can I ship and? I don't think I can. In fact, well, all I have to do is ship, really. I can ship the New Vinland die for some points, and that, that would end it. Uh, so maybe we'll just do... Just lock that in. Yeah, I'll just ship what... what I've, I mean, it's kind of a waste there, but that one ought to do it. 
Let's see what happens. Oh, the shipping was rolled automatically anyway. Um, I guess I'll assign that to this for development. And now, oh, I've got a banker's ability. Oh, it's an ability. Oh, okay. I didn't see that ship. Each time you trade a good this phase, you may spend a dollar to gain one VP chip. Um, uh, I could do that, I guess. Yeah. So two bucks. Yeah, we'll just do that, I guess. Fine. And done. Game is over. I've depleted the victory point pool. Okay, well, that was... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that low of a score from the AI, to be honest with you. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, what was he doing here? Did he... What was he focusing on? He had a ton of dice... He built some worlds, but they were all low. I, yeah, that's, that's really odd. I've never seen the computer do that poorly before. But hey, so it goes. Well, there you go. Uh, it was a roll for the galaxy. It's, it's one of my favorite dice engine builder games. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.